Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to the channel and today I'm gonna be trying to recreate what is called a vertical windmill But if you search for vertical windmill You're not gonna find what we're gonna be trying to recreate in this video because this is a vertical windmill from the 1800s and modern vertical windmills are nothing like this Well, I wouldn't say nothing like this, but they're, they're different So the vertical windmill I'm talking about looks something like this and this is a drawing from an old book called 507 mechanical movements and all 507 of those drawings are on this website that I'll leave down in the description and this website has also animated some of these movements as you can see right here so this is how this windmill is supposed to work so this arrow indicates the direction of the wind so the wind is coming up from the bottom down here so then you can see over on the right side of this circle these red sails orient perpendicular to the wind catching them Whereas they go over to the other side of the circle, they flip around orienting parallel to the wind so that the wind can just pass by. So basically this side of the circle has a lot more wind resistance than this side of the circle, allowing the wind to keep it constantly rotating. So today I'm going to try to replicate this effect in trail makers using the sails and the wind in the high seas map. And I tried to look into this design a little bit more, but I cannot find any other source of a design like this anywhere else, but this exact reference. I even, I tried to type in vertical windmill and all I get are these fancy looking modern designs that don't have flipping sails on them, which kind of makes sense because they're honestly a lot more simple and elegant of a solution that are a lot more flexible in how they rotate because designs like this don't actually require moving parts on the blades themselves, unlike this vertical windmill that we're going to be replicating. But for this one, not only does the windmill rotate, but each blade individually has to be able to rotate as well, which is going to make it, to me, that makes it more interesting. Unnecessarily complex and less efficient? Yes. But more interesting? Also, yes. And that's why this one is going to make it in today's video. And also because I think the game's actually going to allow me to build it. But hey, I could be wrong about that too. Why don't we find out? Okay, so I should probably say right now that I don't really have a purpose for building this thing. This is just one of those because I can situations. Like, I don't really see how I can use this in a practical way that there aren't much easier solutions for. The fun of this is just seeing, will it work? Will it actually work in this game like it's supposed to work in real life? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is to try, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. So here is going to be our free rotating bearing from which all of our sails are gonna be attached. Okay, so this is going to be the crucial part here, how the sail attaches. It also needs to be able to rotate around to the opposite sides of this bar right here. Okay, so the wind is going in the direction that we're looking right now. So if this is the side that it catches the wind from, it should basically be resting against this bar, preventing it from flipping because there's more sail on the bottom than on the top of the pivot. And then as it rotates around over here, the bottom of it is gonna start catching the wind and cause it to pivot over. All right, so now I just need to attach this. I think this is a good point to attach it from right here. Okay, so if I attach it like that, let's just see what happens. I don't know what's happening. Okay, I just wanted to see how it rotates. I mean, it seems to be rotating at least. The thing is, I actually don't know what collisions are like on this. Does this part of the sail have collisions? All right, you know what? For a good test, I need an opposing piece down on the bottom here. All right, so that should allow this to hang more symmetrically. Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, what? Hold on. Yeah, we need more. Okay. All right, we're getting somewhere. Maybe four prong. I was going to try to build the six prong one, but that's going to be a lot more complicated than I think I was anticipating, considering we're restricted to a 90 degree uh, build grid here. All right, place your bets now. Do you think it's going to work in this current state? I don't know. Let's find out. What's happening? Okay, so what's not making sense to me right now is this bottom one is not rotating to be parallel with the direction of the wind. This top one should be catching all the wind, but this bottom one is just, it's fighting it. And that doesn't make any sense to me because it should be freely rotating. Is something stopping it from rotating? Whoa, 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 no, no, okay. I don't know, I don't understand why it's not rotating. I think I, I, think I need to separate the sails an extra block away from the pole that they're attached to. Okay, how's that gonna work? Oh, 
Whoa, no way. No way. No oh, no. Still. Oh, oh, kind of. What? What is happening? It's going. But then it, like, it stops. And then it goes. And then it's. I, I need to follow. It's hard to follow what's happening here. It is working extremely inefficiently right now. But why? What's the prob... Is the pivot point too close to the center of the sails? Do I need to give it more pivot ability? It's so close. It's working. It is rotating in a constant direction. That's, that's essentially the goal. It's just doing it very badly. It's not working great, but it is working. I got some ideas to improve this thing. But we've gotten somewhere. I'm just gonna have to redesign my sail system here. All right, so the major change that I'm making is I'm putting an entire truss on the side of this sail, and that's gonna allow me more freedom of attachment points because right now I think I've attached this too close to the center of, of the sail or the point around which the sail is pivoting because the closer I have it to the center, the less leverage either side has over the other. And the original design seems to have the pivot point closer to like a third up the sail like this. It doesn't really stick out that much, but I don't know. Let's try that instead. All right, let's see if this functions any differently. Whoa, that made a huge difference. It really was about the pivot point. That is so cool. All right. It's still not very efficient. It has like a resistance point. I want it to go at like a more consistent rate. It keeps going faster, slows down, goes faster, slows down. Super cool to watch though. I am actually really surprised that this is kind of working this well already. Even because I only have the four prongs, I don't have the six. The six will make it a more consistent force as it rotates through the wind. All right, I'm, I'm going to follow one. Let's follow one together. I'm going to follow this one. All right, goes over here. Should start flipping. Goes parallel to the wind until... Oh, wow, that was perfect. This one's working perfectly. I'm not really seeing what's causing the inconsistent motions, though. Why does it go faster on one part of the cycle than another? Oh, oh, I see something. Watch this one. This one is going right through itself. That one hits, that one hits, this one goes through. Do you see that? That doesn't make any sense. The bottom of this, see the bottom of this one, it collides and stops. The bottom of that one collides and the bottom of this one goes through. That explains why it's not a consistent uh, speed. Is that just a, an error? Does it always happen? That one's stopping, that one's stopping, that one goes through. Why would that one go through and none of the other ones go through? All right, I have a potential solution to that. All right, so my solution is to just add this block on the bottom of this in case it's an issue with the edge of this sail colliding. I'm just gonna add this block and hope that that also collides. If this goes through too, I don't know how I'm gonna respond to that. We do have, oh, and it broke off. It, is it always gonna be the same one? This is really weird. Okay, I have to color code these so I can actually detect which one is the problem sale. Okay, here we go. Which one's the one that goes through? Green. Now let's see if I respawn. Is it always going to be green? Yeah, it's green again. What's wrong with green? Why is why is the green one being the trouble child here? All right, there we go. I've added pipe pieces now to the bottoms of these, and that seems a lot more stable than the blocks I was adding. And now... Now that the green is actually not phasing through existence, you can see it's a much more consistent rotational rate and not that speed up, slow down action that we're going on here. So this is kind of working. Now I wanna see if I, if I try to make it a six pronged mechanism instead of just these four prongs. I wanna see if that makes it more consistent and even faster. It's finally working well. It's not like the fastest, but it goes and it's consistent. I wanna see if I can get even more out of this. All right, so I had to make some modifications in order to allow these extra pegs to be sticking out from the center here. You may see the green one comes very, very close to colliding with that. It originally did collide with it when I added that in there, but uh, I extended everything so they are just far enough to not collide. So hopefully when I add the other sails onto the end of that prong, it's not going to collide with any of the other sails as everything rotates. I think it's as simple as just slapping it down right there. I hope that's coming really close to that, but 
I think this should function the same way. Let's see what- Oh, that's bad. That is really bad. <laughs> it's too big. Unless I just extend everything out even more, which I guess I could do. Yeah, they need to not be able to hit each other when they are parallel with each other. All right, is this good enough? Oh, 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 that actually might be good enough. Ooh, I think I got it. I think I got just the perfect distance. All right, I think I got the best measurement I'm going to get here. You can see right down here with this sail, these two, they have a decent amount of clearance there, and then there's barely enough clearance right there, but there is enough clearance right there. So if I just copy and paste this to each other corner, we should get a six sail vertical windmill, just like the original design, I hope. Okay, I think it is ready. I've given each sail its own color going pretty much around the rainbow. All right, let's see what happens. Is it gonna work more fluidly than the previous versions? Here we go. And I know it looks weird. The, the ones that are on the diagonals that I added in are like longer than they should be. But if they're any shorter, they're gonna collide with the other sails. So these are the measurements that had to happen. But as you can see, the rate of rotation seems pretty consistent now compared to previous versions. I just wish it was a little bit faster. And you know what? Maybe if we go to a higher speed wind area, we can get that effect. Because this is, we have 32 mile per hour winds right now. All right, this appears to be working. Let's take it to a higher wind area and see the effects. So let's go, I think Sunken Peaks is a little bit higher and also has a good spawn area. This is 36 mile per hour wind, so not a whole lot more, but let's see if it rotates any faster. Okay, I'm very confused now. Is this not completely wrong right now? Wait, what's... This is complete. This is not working anymore. Oh, okay, there we go. Don't know what happened there. All right, it seems to be moving a little bit faster now. Okay, we need, mu we need higher winds. What about Mighty Mushrooms? All right, still in the 30s. Is there no land that has high wind? What about up here? Still in the 30s. I thought there was land with higher winds somewhere. All right, what if I go out to the edge of the sunken peaks over in this direction? All right, check it out. This is the fastest wind I can find right now, 39 miles per hour. And um, I've accidentally spawned it in facing the opposite direction. But now you can see that the bottom of the windmill is catching the wind, whereas the top is actually turning uh, parallel to the wind. So it's still able to go. And it doesn't really seem that much faster over... Oh, wait a minute. Is there... Did I forget to move something? I think I'm just noticing an inconsistency in my measurements. My bad. Hold on. Okay, I have no idea how this happened because I thought every change I made was symmetrical. But I have three different measurements for the core pieces here. All right, I think I have them all the same length now. And what do you know? Seems to be working better. I have no idea how I didn't see that. I think I was focused so much on the rotation point, I just wasn't looking at the lengths of all the other ones. All right, but you can see in this direction, it actually works pretty fine. The bottom catches the wind while the top turns parallel to the wind now, which is kind of cool. And if I change to facing this direction, it'll be the opposite. The top catches the wind and then the bottom turns parallel to the wind. This would even be more versatile. If I turn it on its side like this, it doesn't matter which direction I'm facing. It's just going to catch the wind. Yeah, so now there is no direction that the windmill is facing. It's just gonna catch the wind going over it the whole time. Theoretically, the wind could change direction and come from any other area and uh, the sails that can pivot with with the wind will and the sails that won't will catch it. And there you have it, a successful recreation of a vertical windmill concept drawn in the 1800s. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the page where I got the mechanism and you can explore other crazy mechanical drawings there as well. If you enjoyed this one, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Just click this playlist for more awesome recreations. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.